In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Hamburg chicken brie. And stay tuned till the end because I'll be discussing how many eggs it lays and what to expect as far as an average year for that hen, and as well as their hardiness in different climates. So stay tuned. Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, also subscribe to the website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. The Hamburg chicken is a plucky little member of the poultry family with origin stories dating back to 14th century Holland. This chicken has some fun stories to chit chat about, including its first show appearance in a pub in England during the 19th century. Yep, this little chook competed in its first show in a bar. So the story goes, before the Hamburg got its official name, it was called a variety of names that typically had something to do with pheasants, like pheasant fowl, or just pheasants in general. This is thought to be due to the resemblance of a pheasant in size and shape. However, it is also said that the Hamburg is derived from turkeys. It's fairly unclear as to where and how this lovely chicken was developed. The Hamburg was developed and nurtured to be a production type of poultry, which means eggs. And this gal does not disappoint. For such a small chicken, she is considered a prolific layer who rarely slows down in production. But first, let's dive into the appearance and some of the varieties. If you like a fancy looking flock, you'll love having any variety of Hamburg. Oh yes, they come in a plethora of colors to choose from. And those colors are silver spangled, gold, golden penciled, silver penciled, golden spangled, and occasionally black and white. This teeny breed comes as a fun size bantam as well. Even though the Hamburg is already a pretty small breed, it's also no surprise that the Hamburg is credited as being the grandfather of the poultry show. Roosters are jaw dropping stunning. Chicken fanciers who love keeping ornamental breeds swoon over the beautiful color and pattern varieties available. Getting down to the specifics, the Hamburg has a bright red rose comb and gray clean legs. This breed's skin and bones aren't the typical color of a standard chicken. They are gray. Now let's get into the size of this breed. Like I said, I've been calling it tiny this and tiny that. So this perky chicken is small and it's not considered a good meat chicken due to their small stature. Now, on average, the standard Hamburg weighs about five pounds, making her one of the smaller chickens available. When butchered, the color of the Hamburg skin and bones can be a turnoff to some because it is not the familiar pearly white of the Cornish cross that most commercial poultry productions raise. All right, now let's get into the egg laying and production. The Hamburg is considered an excellent layer, like I said, a prolific one at that. And if you raise them, you can expect to get around three beautiful white eggs from them each week. Remember, the hens are small, so you can also look forward to smaller eggs. However, since the Hamburg matures faster than most chickens, hens begin laying eggs sooner as well, which is a bonus. Now let's talk about the hardiness. The Hamburg is considered to be a fairly cold hardy, and you should definitely take care in extreme cold climates. When the tempers reach freezing, make sure you have a chicken water warmer ready to go. On the plus side, a rose comb is nearly immune to frostbite because it lays very close to the chicken head. As you know, this is also a plus for those of us who live in places like Maine who get sub-zero temperatures during the winter months. Now, let's answer the question to free range or to not free range. If you plan on keeping hamburgs, consider letting them free range. They don't care for confinement. If you want to see what a chicken looks like and acts like in the wild, the Hamburg is one of the closest breeds you can find to entertain your curiosity. They are extreme foragers and when released every morning, the frenzy begins. The Hamburg is also very good at taking care of itself. They are alert little birds that can evade and escape predators quite well. So even as a free range chicken, this breed may outlast some of your bigger standard type chickens. Be aware, this breed has its own frequent flyer miles attached to it. Chickens in general are not agile flyers, but the Hamburg is almost an exception to this rule. While they cannot take flight and remain in flight like a wild duck or goose, they do love to fly. They do the best they can to reach the highest perch. And in fact, they nearly always prefer to roost high in trees. If you plan to lock your hamburgers up at night don't fret if you can't find all of them they may have decided not to wait for you to tuck them in and took it upon themselves to find a comfortable safe roost now let's get into the temperament while extremely beautiful and fun to observe the hamburg is not a people person they prefer to spend their time with each other and of course foraging for goodies this makes handling your hamburgs for medical care quite difficult they are fast little chickens that will do everything it takes to stay out of your loving arms if you must catch 
your hamburgs, try approaching them at night when they are roosting. Hens do not become broody as often as some breeds like the Orpington and therefore should not be expected to reproduce on their own. If you keep a rooster with your hens and you want to expand your flock, you'll probably have to invest in a good incubator. If you want a snuggly chicken that you can pick up and play with, you can always try to handle a hamburg as a chick. Just remember, some hearts just can't be changed. So you might want to consider a buff Orpington or a Dominique for your next cuddle bug rather than the Hamburg. Hamburgs are flighty chickens and some breeders will tell you they are extremely nervous Nellies. While nervousness isn't much fun for chicken owners who like to be close to their chooks, it is one of the reasons that Hamburgs evade aerial predators so well. They always have an eye to the sky and roosters spend a lot of their time flapping about, making themselves appear larger and more threatening than they actually are. Hamburgs probably are not the best 4-H chickens for the kiddos, but children can still learn a lot about chicken behavior by watching the wild breed during their morning foraging frenzy. Despite their leave me alone temperament, the Hamburg is a beautiful chicken that ornamental breeders and poultry show enthusiasts go gaga over. Still, don't count on chicken lovers to bring their prized hamburgs to the local tavern to show off, though it might make for a fun afternoon. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check this one out over here. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Group. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel with that. I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.